Hey guys, very good morning to all of you. Welcome to the video number 541. This is your instructor Ajay Parmar and you're watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar and you'll get here 540 videos on Excel, Excel VBA, MS Access, MS Access VBA and Outlook VBA. So in this video today, uh, I'm going to talk about it, how you can actually use the date and time, how you can use, uh, the, insert the date and time in the Excel using uh, using a you know a shortcut key uh, or a function in Excel, uh, but our ma major focus will be how you can uh, how you can actually go and create a VBA function UDF user defined functions okay and there will be another thing which i will be talking that how you can create a macro for it subroutine so let's go and discuss about it and uh, before we go further i just want to quickly uh, show you that this is a playlist sequence you should follow the playlist sequence if you are looking for the great learning if you want to start from the scratch these are all the playlists which i have created for you 50 playlist so far and these are all divided into these different different categories as you can see on excel excel vba access access vba outlook vba you should follow this i keep uh, keep on getting the emails from you that uh, because there are so many videos and uh, you get confused which video you need to watch first don't go by the video number guys you have to go and see these playlist watch the once you click on these playlist just watch the videos they are coming there the number can be different for example when you click on the excel vba introduction you may see 10 videos there and their numbers are different don't worry about it just pull out the videos the way it is there okay one by one so that's how it is and let's go and talk about now today's uh, this uh, the question okay so as you can see here i have got the data here the you know the status and the date and time so what we want to do is uh, we want to insert the date and time for all the done cases right and uh, there is a tip for you the shortcut key if you do not know if you just go and press control uh, control plus you know this colon sign what will happen let me show you if i just press control colon you see that it is going to insert the today date that's the shortcut key to insert the date right and if you press control and you know the shift and the colon so what you're gonna do is look at this control shift colon so the moment you press control shift colon colon you will get the time right so all the options are available and just in case if you want to simply say that uh, you know if you just go here and write date function and you just you know open parenthesis and close parenthesis you press enter then wh what is going to happen the moment you press enter uh, i'm sorry it's not date actually it's today because date is a function we use in the vba so in excel but it is the today function so this is going to insert the date which is today date right and similarly guys um, if you if you want to insert the date and the time both you can write the now function as well i hope you know these shortcuts these are uh, you know the very sm uh, the quick basically excel functions now now inserts the date and time and the date uh, the today function in inserts the today date right but anyways we are not here to talk about all this this is just i wanted to tell you right so we have these functions now what we want to do the the three methods as i said that i'm going to share it with you two methods will be the vba programming and one is going to be your simple excel if function so we can say here that for all the status so you can write here if function you can see that if a2 equals to my done then what i want to do then i want to insert the date right so let's say i want to insert the today date so this is how you can write okay today date and then if it is not the case then you can leave it as blank the moment you press enter and then you just drag it down you'll find the date for all the status where we have done coming that's very simple a function instead of the today if you want to insert the now you can do that you will have the date and the time together right so i just go and uh, you know drag this but you have to make sure that because now function returns the time as well so we have to make sure that once we if we are not able to see the time just select the entire table go to the format cells and in the format cells guys please go and change the format so what we need to do we can go to the custom here and then here we can write here hh and ma hh is for hour mm is for minutes and if you just want the seconds as well you can do that that's all up to you i'm doing all this in the custom right so you can press ok and now double click here let's just resize it and this is how it is right so this is how we can do it now just in case just in case if you you know do not want to go in the format cell then what you can do is so if i just use the same function here again let me just uh, or maybe let me just undo it 
this was the situation now you can also within the formula customize it so you just need to use the text function over here text and then the value value is my time time means date and time now function and how you want to now do it so let's say i want the month month and then i want the dd which is for the date and then i want the year which is four times and then you can write hh and then you can write mm as well if you want the seconds you can write the seconds as well make sure or oh, we go and you know uh, put this entire thing in the double quotes so i just go and press enter okay so let me close this formula first uh, i should close the formula this text function i press enter and there we go you can see that so there's no need to go to the format cells as well right you can directly handle the things in the formula itself you just use the text function so in the text the now function comes with the date and the time and then you can format it let's say if you do not want uh, the month you know like in this way uh, you don't want 12 12 12 it's december month right so maybe you can write triple m as well i hope you know that right in the if you write the triple m guys you will see the month and this is really beautiful i think this is very useful you know because nobody is going to be confused if you just write four times m see what's going to happen you will get the entire december over here okay so that's all up to you i leave it to you how you want to do that and similarly guys uh, if you just go and write here ddd see what's going to happen you will get the friday today is friday right so ddd is there or maybe you can further go and write here that hyphen dd and then this you know so this will get you the uh, the month triple m and then the triple d which is for the friday and then dd is for the date so it's all up to you how you want to do it right so i'll just go and drag this and this is how you can use this function okay now this is a function and i'm just going to uh, cut this from here I, I go and paste it here so that uh, you can have a look here you can do the practice now let's talk about the next method which is actually as i said that the real purpose of you know uh, of this video because i want to, to show you that how you can create the program of this so let us first of all go and create a macro for this guys and today i'm going to tell you something very exciting that how you can uh, create a macro icon over here instead of going in the insert and creating the button you know generally this is how we create but you know you can also create the customized ribbon you can add the button there so let's go to the developer tab and let's first of all you know go to the visual basic and i go and insert the module over here okay now what i want to do is uh, i write here uh, let's say uh, i just give it a name called ajay time okay now what we need to do is we simply want to declare a variable called let's say t as date okay where this is a vba function right so this will give you the date t is going to take the date okay so we will say that t is going to take the date called now the same function which we have used in the excel so when you run this look at this what's gonna happen you will see the function this now function returns the 29th of december and 11 12 morning right so this is what we have got now this the same thing we want to insert over here in this cell which is b2 or b3 okay so what we will do we will simply write here active cell dot value equals to t now what is going to be your active cell well whatever cell you will select okay now i'm not going to insert the shape over here now what we will do you please click on the file go to the options and in the option if you're using 2007 2010 2013 or 16 the procedure remains the same please go to the quick access toolbar guys over here in the quick access toolbar this is popular commands by default it remains as popular command but just click here and click on the macros okay now once you do that what will happen you will start seeing all the macros which you have created right so in my this workbook there are two macros which are created but i'm only interested in this macro which i have just created in front of you right so what i will do i will simply select that and i'll click on the add it is going to add the macro over here right just in case if you want to change the icon of this select that and click on the modify when you click on the modify you'll get to see here the different different you know the symbols you know the pictures right so maybe let's say i go and choose uh, some sort of uh, maybe this smiley okay i go and choose this smiley double click here or just i think double click will not work just select that and click okay and you can see that this smile is coming on the top now so that's it guys it is inserted now i just go and click okay and now you can see that it's coming here 
okay so this actually is now my macro basically right and remember guys one thing where it is coming it is coming in your customized toolbar you know where you have all the other options as well available this is a quick access toolbar right you can take this anywhere for example you can also take this show above the ribbon if i click here this is how it is going to look like on the top and you know this is a very common uh, toolbar every every excel person who uh, who knows the basics he must or she must be knowing it right so we can do a lot of things here right so i have created this and now i will select the cell let's say this is my done so i select this b4 and i click here now when you click here look at this guys this is going to insert the date if i go here and select that this macro will immediately fire so you can insert the date and the time as well now obviously the time is not coming so we can definitely work on that what you need to do is you just need to edit the macro so why why don't we just go here and say that you know the form at the time right now why basically uh, first of all let me tell you why the date is coming and why not the time is coming because if you just use the now function it inserts the date and the time both actually it is a formatting issue because we we use this uh, with the for the different different you know the formats in uh, when i was telling you uh, how to use the if function so basically uh, if you just go and you know format this cell uh, having a you know this custom uh, called uh, hh and then mm you know your your issue will be sorted out right if you want to keep the date and the time both okay now if i just go and say that i click here you see that the date and the time will come so it is just a formatting issue okay otherwise just to make sure that you uh, that because of the formatting issue you should uh, never get into this situation where the time is not coming you can definitely go and you know use here a format function like i showed you the text function in the excel couple of minutes back so the text function you won't find in the vba it is a format function so you can say that format this now what is the format well we can write here mm dd and then you know we can write here yy y uh, and for the year and then we, we can give the space and we can say that hh mm and just put it with a double quote and that's it now when you run this for example let me run this now you see that the now is showing me 29th of december right uh, and everything is coming the moment i run this look at this the value in the t it's coming properly it's it's exactly coming the same way right because i have used this right so this is what you will get if you just want to use this as triple m that is also okay so when you run this you can see here the t will have your you know the value well i guess triple m is not working here um so we can keep this uh, keep this as double m only right um maybe uh, triple m doesn't uh, give us the, uh, the 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 month in the text format but that's okay i mean if you want you can use the if conditions but this is okay i just wanted to tell you that you can this is how you can you know do the things so now the next time if i go and delete this and if i just go and you know hit on this smiley you see that i'm getting my hhmm and second so i just go here and you know keep on clicking here and so this is a quick reference whenever you want to run this without going to the button you can you know insert the uh, you know the 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 time the date and the time right and why we are getting the 000 guys because it's again the formatting thing you have to make sure that this should not be on the seconds right so uh, you have to go to the format cells right click and go to the format cells and just remove that formatting part right so i mean this this is all about our planning you know what do you want to show right for example this is a blank cell this is not formatted at all if i just go and click here you see that the moment i double click here i get my hsn mm format right so this is the uh, the second method that you can create the macro and you can you know put that macro in the form of some you know the icon in the quick access toolbar guys okay now what is the next thing we want to do the next thing which you can do is you can also create your own function udf user defined function how to do that uh, well uh, we can go here and we can write here function then you can give it a name any name you want to give let's say i give a, um, a name the function name called uh, my time for example this is what i want to give so you can uh, write like this and uh, here in the function so this is how first of all we write right if you do not know anything about the functions please go and check the excel vba playlist uh, uh, there's a playlist called excel vba functions and uh, the watch first or uh, two videos uh, the basics of the functions 
uh, you will understand everything okay so this is a user defined function so basically it looks for the parameter parameter means that uh, you know uh, which value we are supposed to use so what i will do i will create a variable called a as string okay and this is what i'm gonna do now so what i'm supposed to do now here is that uh, this a uh, if it is equals to done so i'm just gonna write here if a equals to done okay or because uh, if is a case sensitive in excel vba so make sure you write all the possibilities of done so i just go and use a as you know different different uh, formats so i just go and write that if a is going to be this done small letters proper case or maybe the upper case then what we are supposed to do uh, we are supposed to say that the function name my time that is going to be equals to what that is going to be equals to now this is how i can do it and then again you know you can just copy the entire this line if you just want to format this the way you want you know you can format it that's all up to you what do you want to do so this is how we can write it okay and uh, if it is not done then you just need to say that my time equals to just nothing it's going to be space okay now this is how the function gets created so let's go and see that now i'll put the break code over here so that you can see how we are going to work so i st start typing my time and uh, so let me just go and give it a name uh, some another name because uh, i think this function i'm already using it's i think uh, i'm already using this function my time here in the module one so i have to change the name you can't use the same name here so i just go and write ajay time maybe why not let's become popular in our company by creating the functions by our name isn't it so i go and create the ajay time and then you have to tell the user that you got to select that cell you know where you have the status so this status now the moment i press enter what will happen argument not optional so what's wrong with this so uh let's go and check that uh, i guess um, i didn't actually return the the you know what actually i'm supposed to return over here so i just go and write here string the moment i let me reset the code and let me run this and one more thing i realized uh, that it's basically coming uh, my time my time is not a function now it is your ajay time right you have changed the function name well uh, i guess uh, we are done and yes here also we have to change this to my ajay time it is a rule guys actually you know whenever you write the function uh, at the end of the end function before the end function you have to write your function name and the value it is going to use which is coming from the other variables that's how it is okay so i go and uh, press enter again and uh, so now we have a block without end if so i forgot to put the end if my apologies we should have written the end if also because that's not that's a poor closing so i just go and run this now it is working now you see that this a is has taken that value which you have selected in the a2 that is the basically the idea behind using the functions right because whatever you choose in the front uh, front part of the excel that goes in the parameter here which you design you know and in fact here all the functions which you use in the front part like vlookup hlookup you know they are also programmed in the same way the only thing is that you can't see how they are programmed but you know when you install the office you get so many libraries installed there which you can cannot open you cannot delete so microsoft has done all the you know they have designed the entire excel on the visual basic in fact right so you're not doing something really uh, something i would say uh, strange okay if you look at your formulas carefully when you write those uh, vlookup text function mid left right whatever i mean you know how it works you pass in the parameters and you press enter and the function works automatically did you ever wonder that how what is happening in the background so this sort of coding is there okay so we are doing the same thing so now you know that a is done so what should happen it should go in the then mode and it should give me this you know this value which uh, right now you can see uh after it's coming from this now function so my ajay time will show you that you know the time okay so this is uh what we're gonna see here let me just uh, reset the code and let's go and check that if we are able to get this i have removed the break code from here and i go and press enter now look at this guys this is really working right you can also drag this if you just drag this you see it's working for the not done we have already said that it's it's going to be not done so it has to be a space okay or maybe you can write something else as well for example you can also write not valid you know now again when you just go and drag this see what's going to happen interesting isn't it 
automatically your things are changing right i want to show you again if you if you just want to if you're interested in looking this again let me put the break code here and let me select this b3 and let us go and enter this now remember that in my aj time the parameter which i'm using the the input which i'm using that is a3 so the moment you press enter what happens this a3 goes in the a obviously that's how it is now a is not done if a is not done your if function will fail and it will go in the else mode now what you have done you are saying that now my function name which is very mandatory for you to write it is going to be equal to not valid and that's how guys you are able to see here not valid picture right so you can create the macro you can use the customized toolbar and you can you know quick access toolbar you can put the things there you can create uh, you the function by your name as well that's a good way to get popular because people use your function name and they they will definitely talk about you you will be known in the company right and that's uh, that's really a great feeling and the people will start reaching out to you for their work and that's the best way you know to get in the limelight isn't it right okay but yes remember one thing always be humble because knowledge sharing is knowledge gaining never ever get into that kind of a scenario you know that don't become i mean egoistic to be very frank with you right i i'm not sure whether you like me for this or you hate me but i'm telling you always be courteous and you know always be available for people trust me guys Uh, you know the kind of the respect the amount of the respect you're going to generate by helping people that's really unbelievable and people will come out to you uh, will come back to you and they will ask the questions and that's going to increase your knowledge and this is what i'm doing i'm sharing my all these stuff with you and then you guys come back and you discuss your questions and i you know that enhances my knowledge also but yes i also sometimes revert to my students that the because i see that if there is a some long project you know uh it's not possible for me to spend that much of a time so for that you know i work as a freelancer also well anyways uh this is how this is um, i got little out of track i <laughs> apologize for that but uh, that's how this is the all things you know this is how you can create the uh, you know these functions and this uh, this the if function uh, the uh, in the front part so that's all up to you how do you actually want to you know do the thing so i just go and reset the code so that you can see everything in front of you you can see the code and you can see the excel form as well so thank you so much and uh, have fun a new year is coming so i hope a new year uh, will bring lot of happiness uh, prosperity uh, into your lives and uh, definitely you will rise and shine so guys uh, with that aim to make you awesome in uh, all these subjects I will be back with the another exciting video very soon. Thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.